Hey guys, I'm Elegant and Tune. Welcome back to my Pokemon Souls Level Nuzlocke one. So last episode, we sort of just went and um, completed, well not completed, just went through Route 4 and 3 I think, and I, I kind of went through Mount Moon, but there's nothing really to do there. You know, I also beat my rival, Matt! So yeah, this episode, I'm on the road to Viridian City. <laughs> yeah, I know, cheesy song reference, but um, I do love that song for some reason. I just, it's one of my favourite songs of Pokemon. I, I don't know why, it just... It reminds me of the olden days of Pokemon. So yeah, this episode we're actually going to be heading through Route 2, which I already caught a Pokemon on. And, um, Pokemon in, sorry. And we're going to head into the Viridian Forest. And the Viridian Forest is a little bit different to the original Gold Silver games. Because in the Gold Silver games, it was sort of very much shortened from the original Kanto games. But in Heart Gold Soul Silver, they actually turned this back into much more like the original Kanto games. So sort of like Leaf Green and Fire Red as well. So. That's pretty cool, and we can catch a few Pokemon here, so um, let me just go through everything you can catch, first of all, before I run into anything. So Caterpie, Weedle, Metapod, Kakuna, Pidgey, Butterfree, Beedrill, Pidgeotto, Pikachu, Hoot Hoot, and Noctowl, so um, the usual really, other than the Pikachu, which is pretty cool, so there's, there's not too much chance of actually catching a Pikachu, 6%, so I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to catch him for now, so you'll see everything in my sidebars anyway. And yeah, let's just battle this guy. I was considering whether to avoid him or not, but I will, because I need to get um, levels on on Renest. I almost said Nina, but I didn't then. Okay. There are many people out there who prefer Solid Bug Pokemon over Squishy Bug Pokemon. Well, why would you want a Squishy Bug Pokemon? Because <laughs> it just die all the time. It doesn't make sense, but but okay, okay with your logic. And ah, uh, yeah, I did look up um, Naka's move set. I'm well, not Espeon's move set. Sorry. Which uh, my Espeon is not called Maka, but um, it does learn Psychic at level 64, and for some reason I, I thought it was 58. I don't know why it got myself confused there, but it is 64, so I'm gonna have to train Necrop to level 64 to get that move that I want. So I'll have to do a little bit of leveling before I reg, because I, I do want the Psychic on Maka, because Maka can just own everything with um, Psychic. I'm probably going to have to level up a little bit anyway, considering how just, like deadly uh, Red is. As well as the fact that I'm going to have to carry on the Let's Play with a third series after I beat Red, and I can't carry on with like using the whole dead team. That wouldn't be very good, but 59. We're getting there. I probably should have like, level up the other Pokemon too, so uh, I'll just beat this Pikachu. Oh wow, Pikachu, yay! Um, in fact, should I switch out? Should I switch out to Arena? No, Arena's not a high enough level yet. So I'll just stay in, and then I'll probably just switch out to Naka to another Pokemon because I I don't want like a lot of my team to be lower level. Even though I do like Naka being at a high level, because then I can know I can rely on it, rely on it. Because I don't know, I, I tend to feel like I need to rely on my Espeon a bit more just because I love Espeon so much. It's probably a really bad mindset to be in, just relying on one Pokemon, but but it's an Espeon, so that's the best and. Not to mention it has an awesome name. <laughs> so, it, it is actually a little bit more complicated than in Fire Red and Leaf Green, which makes it a little more, more excited, exciting. In fact, no, no I've just realised it isn't. This is the same. Oh, <laughs> there's actually a little bit, um, this, 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 what, what do you call it? A little sort of lead off in Fire Red, Leaf Green, but it just isn't upstairs, that's what confused me. I thought it was more complicated, but it isn't. It isn't, it isn't. If you don't understand me, then don't worry, you really don't worry, because I'm just rambling. I'm at a dire hit, what does that do? Or oh, direct hit, I think it is. I think it's, it um, increases the chance of criticals, I think it's the battle item. And what's this gonna be? It'd be awesome if it's a Pikachu, it'd just be so awesome if it's a Pikachu. Oh. Screw you, Pidgey. <laughs> Level 3, no, P Pidgey. Pidgey. Run. Run from you. You're level 3 and I've got a Pidgey. So screw screw your face, Pidgey. Oh, in fact, no, I don't have a Pidgey. I lost my Pidgeys. Oops. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have run because I completely just didn't think about losing it. So yeah, and the trainer's got a little bit more of a walking, different walking pattern, but uh, that's a few differences. I'm sure that there's nothing more efficient and beautiful in this world than a book type Pokemon. I keep doing the same voice for every trainer now. I need to I need to actually think about who I'm doing a voice for because just a lot of the time I don't know who I'm doing a voice for, so I just 
I need ne right, the next voice will be different. I promise you that the next voice that I do will be different. Even though I know some people don't like people doing voices. I feel like I feel like it brings life to my videos. It it, it sort of brings life. I, I I said that twice, but I don't know. Five minutes, oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. This episode I'm going to be rambling a lot again because all we can do is try and make a way to uh Viridian City. I can't believe we've got a name because we're on the road to Viridian City. <laughs> and Oh, does that Oh okay, I remember assurance being kind of a scary move, but apparently apparently maybe it isn't I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think it's a little bit scary and powerful Pokemon. So Hugsy's Hugsy's better get level up now because damn it. Because uh Hugs is, is falling behind the team, even though Rena's like all the way back at level 37. But Rena's getting up levels so fast, it's crazy. Like, last episode, I've had to make so many sidebars. Because I have to make another sidebar for every time a Pokemon levels up. It's like crazy. I make eight sidebars for like one route just because of Rena leveling up so much. So that's kind of good, really, because I think Rena might actually end up on the same level as the rest of my team pretty soon. Or at least, moderately soon. I suppose it's because of all the trainers we have to battle at the moment. Like, there's quite a lot of trainers with a lot of around 40 odd like Pokemon, Pokemon around level 40 odd. So, um, that's a really good thing to level up with just before it's about battling red. Because the wild Pokemon in Pokemon Soul Silver are dreadful and they never give any experience. Sorry, um, but yeah, he lost beautifully, apparently, and I love the colouring of this place, it's just, ah, oh, it's a like green and lush and beautiful. And uh, there's Pokemon here. A blue flute, what does a blue flute do? I I think it stops, uh, wait, stop, stops confusion or something. Uh, let me just check on my little walkthrough I have here. And I can't see it. Oh, well, it didn't tell me what it's for, it just told me there is one, so... Oh, I d oh, I'd be so stupid, I could just look on my items, because, ah, oh, wow, I'm the stupidest person ever. Wait, 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 what? It's not there. Is it in the key items, then? You can't... Oh, is it in the key items? No, I, apparently it just disappeared. Um, what does the title bell do? I don't even know what half the items in this game do, because I've never really played through this game completely, totally, 100% of it. So, I'm just trying to look for that blue flute, where, unless it's in the healing items thing, because... I have no idea where that blue flute went, I have no idea. Or is it in the battle items? Yeah, it might be in the battle items. I need to just carry on with this episode because I'm getting behind. Blue Flute, there we go, it's in the battle items. Um, oh, wakes Pokemon from sleep. I was almost there with the stopping confusion. Almost there, so another big train here. Different voice this time, like I promised. Wow, that's a huge Pokemon! What kind of trainer? I don't even know what that meant, but that was a different voice, I think. Uh, hopefully, it, hopefully it's a different voice, and hopefully it's different enough, and um... Oh, wow! Are you joking? A level 52 Metapod? It's like that, um, whatever level Magikarp it was, like, a little bit ago, a couple of episodes ago, I think. Um, like a 60-odd level Magikarp. It's like, ah, oh, the ultimate troll of Pokemon. But, wow, I didn't realise Metapod actually had so much defence. I mean, I knew his highest stat was defence, but I didn't think it was very high still. I'm just changing moves now, because Avalanche is getting a bit of low PP. And Metapod's not gonna be able to do anything to me, so I'm not scared, really. Apple. <laughs> I think I think Game Freak decided just to troll everybody in this game because you've got the level 64, I think, 60 yard magic card, and then this Metapod level 52. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny actually. Um, yeah, Game Freak, I suppose, had lots of fun with the post game of this game. So that, that was pretty awesome. And apparently, apparently, there's a level. 60 Metapod here, <laughs> too. Oh my gosh, that's just stupid. I don't think it's this trainer. Oh my gosh, I think it's this trainer. <gasps> no way it is this trainer. Oh yes, it's this trainer. <laughs> so this trainer has a level, what was it before? 50, 52, and a level 56, and a level 60 Metapod. 
Yeah, because this trainer is so intelligent and knows how to battle. So I think just Game Freak. Oh wow, critical hit! Yes, that's good. But yeah, Game Freak. I think Game Freak is the ultimate troll. Really, we really, really like to troll their um, players. I suppose, kind of maybe. Hopefully, I can take this out. I, I need to get to really and see this episode. I'd like to get to Power Town, but. I doubt that's actually feasible with the speed I'm going at. And if I didn't have Rina to level up, I would be avoiding a lot of these trainers. But, as I've said before, I definitely need to level up Rina. I want to use it for the next battle, really. And Beverly's calling me, but Beverly, I don't care. Oh, I thought we might be able to avoid that guy, but whatever. Shh, be quiet, the book Pokemon will run away! Well, I... I... I don't seem to be having a problem with the book Pokemon running away, because I just run into them, it's just like, ugh. But yeah, an Oreodos, which you can't catch here, so I don't know why he has one, but but maybe he calls it from somewhere else. I, I don't know where he can catch him, actually. I suppose he could catch a Spinarak on in... I don't, I, don't know, I don't even know, I'm just fumbling now. So, goodbye, Oreodos. Nice knowing you, but unfortunately, you're dead. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, Dion. That's his name. I, I don't know why I said that. I want that Pokeball! Pokeball, come here. Come here. Don't run into our Pokemon? Yes, okay. What is it? Psycho Pokemon? That's rubbish. <laughs> I was like getting excited and I'm thinking, wait, what's this, what's this? And then, because I saw it was Psych and it, it kind of makes it look like a good move, but then I realized it was a bad move, especially in game. Because it just copies um, your opponent's stat changes, so it's kind of stupid. Kind of a stupid move, but I think we're almost out of here. We're almost out of here, so I'm sorry this is taking so long, but I need to just shut up and carry on. I need to not ramble because I do that way too often, as I say like every episode, and I still do it every episode, even though I say it. I keep saying I need to stop rambling, and I just, just do it anyway. And I'm just looking at Brilliant City ahead now, just so I can be as quick as possible once I get there. And I don't think, I don't think there is too many moves I can, uh, not too, too many things I can do there. Um, I know I can get the move Dream Eater, but I don't really want that because I don't have Hypnosis or anything. And there's not really any need for the combo of Hypnosis and Dream Eater because Hypnosis doesn't have good accuracy anyway. And the Pokemon doesn't stay asleep constantly, as you'll know. Um, so I, I don't think I'm, I'm going to need to get that move, and I'm not going to waste the time trying to get it just because it's kind of stupid. But I'm pretty sure there's some sort of item over here, over somewhere, some. Oh wait, oh yes, I still have cut, I still have cut, yes! Cut, 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 cut. I forgot that Rina still had cut, I was like, no, I want to get past here, because I'm sure there's an item, and as you all know, I, I have just OCD with leaving items. I could have just walked around. Herp derp to the max. Wait, what? Can I can I not get past stars? Well confusing. That's so confusing. Kuna, screw you. 13 minutes. I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up. Okay. Okay. Let's get my let get let's get a uh, conning duck. Let's get set and get this Pokeball because I need to get all the Pokeballs. It better be a good Pokeball. A leaf stone and. It's lagging, it's like dun 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 Because it's so awesome. I don't know, it's not even lagging it as much now, so I, I don't know why it just lagged when I got a life storm. Because it's so awesome and it just needs to lag. I can't even use that on any Pokemon. I mean, I know I could use it on Gloom to get a Battle Plume, but I think I'd prefer a Blossom anyway, rather than a Battle Plume, so. Which would, like, get a. Well, which would need a Sunstone, not a Leaf Stone, so. Kind of no use to me unless I unless I want to. Uh, oh no, I was gonna say a Leafeon, but Herb Derp, you, that's not how you get a Leafeon. You don't use a Leaf Stone. You um you actually level it up near the mossy rock. But the fact is, there there is actually isn't a mossy rock in this game. It's just in black and white and um and platinum. And I think yeah, plat uh, diamond and pearl as well. So, we reached Viridian City after 50 minutes. Oh, oh no, no, we've not even reached it yet, but Route 2, we've already caught a Pokemon. 
I don't know. I was trying to avoid you. Why do girls like just like fuck Pokemon so much? Well, that that's a bit of a sexist judgment because you don't really. Because I've seen girls with bug type Pokemon in this game, but I don't know. I don't know, kid. Um, I don't think that's too scary, is it? Maybe. I think ah, oh, it does something. Tailwind does something, which I can't remember what it does. So that's kind of useless for me. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get to Pallet Town this episode, but I think there might be trainers on Route One. Oh, I just thought. Has it got the Route One music? Like from the original games, I love the Route One music. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon music. I've, I've already talked about like Viridian City being one of my favorite Pokemon music. So, That's, yeah, Pokemon Viridian City was one of my favorite Pokemon songs that wasn't in game, and the Route One music is my favorite in game music, or at least one of them. I suppose. Oh, there's that. I can't even remember what Route Forty something. Uh, like ages ago, leading to the um. Leading to the what do you call it, the Safari Zone. That that's got to be probably my favourite music from all Pokemon games. Oh, I, I said bad. I said no to him. So whatever. And can we get past this guy? Let's jump into the grass and oh, <laughs> run into a Pokemon or something like. Don't run into a Pokemon. Just avoid this guy. And I really should battle him because like I need to level up Rena, but no, I need to hurry up. So. So, as I said before, I will probably do a whole off-screen grinding session with a bunch of trainers before the next gym at some point, eventually, maybe, hopefully. So, here in Virginia City, we're just going to run straight through because there's nothing to do, and I'm not too desperate to heal up because I'm more desperate just to get on with this episode. And let's go down here, and through here, and go through, and da 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 <gasps> Yeah, I love this music, sorry. No, you ruined it! You ruined it. Sir, I will I will own your face in because you you ruined the epic music and the epic cowbells having them listening to that. Screw you, sir. Oh yes, I'm glad I've said that hugs is because, 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 yeah, I can do that, and you can be like, screw you, Jinx. I'm pretty sure it'd be effective because Jinx is a poison type. Poison, poison type? What, what? I meant, I meant psychic type. What am I on about today? What am I on? So, Rena's just reaping all the experience off, um, hugs is. And oh, I like to buzz. I would send out Rena, but Rena doesn't have an Earth, like an Earth type. Uh, uh, sorry, an Earth move. And also, uh, it's a bit of a. She's a bit of a lower level, and I need to level her up. I keep saying I really want to use her, but I can't. So yeah, off screen, I'm probably going to do a little bit of grinding. As ah, oh, I'm thinking maybe on that route, on that route between Lavender Town and Saffron City, I think. Maybe, maybe. I think it's that one. Or is it, is it Celadon? I can't remember which one it is. Damn it. But it's one of the two. One of the two. And maybe I can make it to Professor Rook this episode. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I hope I can. Because that aid, like, last episode or something, did say want, uh, Professor Rook wanted to see me. So, yes, yeah, stay in. Okay. So, I might be able to talk to him. So, yeah, that'd be awesome. And I could actually do a little bit of a montage of me battling trainers, like not not a montage, but a uh, like a grinding episode with battling trainers, because that would not take as long. Because I really don't want to do a grinding episode, like I said. But a grinding episode battling trainers won't be as bad because trainers give so much more experience than the wild Pokemon do. Because the wild Pokemon are awful, awful, awful in this game. As, as I keep saying, the worst po it's the worst game to actually grind up in the wild. So, well, it could. Battle, it could be a competitor with Emerald. Emerald's also a pretty difficult game to grind up in the wild. Or not Emerald, I suppose Sapphire and Ruby are a little bit harder because Emerald has the extra cave in the Battle Frontier. And yes, epic skills, avoiding trainers. 
So yeah, I'm probably actually gonna do some grinding up with these trainers. But no, just not just not now. Oh, stupid Pokemon! It could be a Pikachu though, because this is the exact spot where um, Professor O gets his first Pikachu. Even though you can't catch Pikachu in this route, which does not make any sense why he actually got a Pikachu in this game. But whatever. Wait. Oh, I forgot about the Pokemon in Route One. Oh wow, I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. I completely forgot about Route 1 being a new route and... Oh, okay. Anyway, here's Professor Oak. Ah, oh, and you, it's good for you to come all this way. To Kanto. What do you think of the Pokemon trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine it is hard, but the experience will surely help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep it up, Enshu. So how is your Pokedex coming along? Uh, we can have a Johto Pokedex or have a National Pokedex evaluated. So let's go for a Johto Pokedex. Hmm, let me see. You've seen 202 Pokemon? And you've caught 48 Pokemon. I see. Hmm, you're catching Pokemon at a decent pace. Even though it is a Nuzlocke run, so it's a little bit harder. Show me your Pokemon again. Anytime. Okay, he didn't actually really want us, but we have to beat all the gyms and then he'll give us a Rock Climb. Which we do need. And then once we've beaten Red, he will actually give us a, I think it's a Kanto starter. So that's pretty awesome. So, next episode I'm going to be heading off down onto that route, which is, I can't even remember what route it is. Um, but I will hopefully be getting to whatever, oh, oh gosh, I can't remember what island it's called. Completely forgot what it's called, but you, you hopefully you know what I mean with the Volcano Island and things like that. And hopefully I'll get to the next generator sometime soon. I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.